Greetings and salutations, everybody. Let me kind of adjust the camera here. Oh, I think we're good there. All right. So what's up? Um, I did a thing. Yeah, I did a thing. <laughs> um, I got the network pass. So um, in the live stream yesterday, I talked to people about it, that um, you would be able to test out T-Mobile's network for 90 days. Um, I believe there is a 50 gig um, cap and then you're throttled to slower speeds for the remainder of the 30-day uh, bill cycle and then it resets. So um, yeah, as long as you're not doing like a bunch of speed tests, you should be fine. <laughs> but yeah, everything is all done from the app. It's very easy to set up. This was very easy to do. Uh, before showing this in this section right here, it would tell you to get started right here where it says see my network scorecard it that would actually say get started you would click that you would go through all the info it will tell you how it works uh, what to expect and then um yeah to even make it more easy if you're ready to make the commitment to t-mobile then you would hit start switching right there switch to t-mobile in the app and you just do it all through the app so that's like the craziest thing ever um doesn't have a scorecard for me yet i think this is where they would determine by based on my usage um, how things would be. So uh, I think it would give you like an estimate of what your bill would look like on T-Mobile based on your usage. Oh, wait, we got it. Uh, let's see. Core network experience. Time connected. Uh, testing download speed. I don't know if anyone's going to trust this because it's doing it with, <laughs> within, the, uh, within the app itself. And it seems like it's kind of hung up there. Uh, compare my local 5G provided by, uh, unfortunately, Umlot doesn't have data for your carrier. Then why even, okay, well, <laughs> anyways, um, so it says share the love, tell your friends and family about Network Pass so they can compare their current carrier. So I can share this and other people can, you know, you can make the switch, switch to T-Mobile if you want to go and start service of T-Mobile completely. Or if you're a business customer, you would click that and create a business account. It's got all the other FAQs and everything like that. So um, now it just kind of like shows that. It tells me from the speed test they run, 256 uh, megabits per second. It's got, <laughs> that's funny. Um, let's go ahead and run a speed test. And the crazy thing is, is that I have my Moto G stylus, which is on Metro by T-Mobile, and I'm gonna compare a speed test there. So, um, with the Ookla app, it's actually going it's going a little higher, about 400. So let's see, it's uh, 409 by five. Um, those kind of seem very familiar speeds to Metro. And uh, we'll wait for that to finish up, 409 by um, 6.02. All right, let's run Metro. And the ping is about the same. Doing a little bit better. Well, around the, the same. Roughly about the same. This could be like similar priority access only because it's a network pass, right? So, um, just enough to let you kind of like see the speeds and experience the speeds, but I don't know. Anyways, 409, 6.02, 413, 10.1. Um, so that's comparison. Um, but yeah, it's very, very easy to set up and everything. It's not, not super hard. Um, it's doing all right though. Besides the speeds that people would be concerned with, just to be quite honest, it's, uh, I mean, it's handling very well um, so far, but I'm not surprised. Um, T-Mobile works great in my area, so yeah. But I just wanted to get on here to say that I'm going to be testing it for the next 90 days. I'll let you guys know if I see any weirdness. Uh, but if you're going to get yours, then you're going to get yours. Uh, let me know what your experience is like with the setup. If you have any questions, leave comments. I'll try my best to answer them. Uh, check me out the next one. Y'all take it easy. Aloha.